Are you measuring customer satisfaction? You know, customer satisfaction is very, very important. So that's why we want to measure it. And how we measure it is by giving surveys to our customers and clients. So some of the ways that you can do that is that you can leave a survey with your client. Let's say you're doing residential. You can leave a survey uh, from in a postcard on the counter. Uh, you may even ask the customer face to face. Uh, you may send it to them in an email. You may text it to them. Uh, either way is good. Just make sure that you're doing the survey. The reason why we're doing the surveys is so that we can see a trend uh, in our performance. And we want to make sure that our customers are satisfied with their experience. And the whole idea with that is that we want to be able to duplicate that experience in the future for other customers. So now when we do that, uh, some of the things that you do want to do is make sure that you ask for uh, a total company uh, rating. And what you do is that you would typically just ask a question, you know, uh, how would you rate your, your uh, satisfaction with the service that, you, that was provided? And they would rate it from a 1 to 5, with a 5 being um, highly satisfied and a 1 being unsatisfied. So that's all it would be. It's that simple. So now when we do these surveys, uh, you know, make them short. You don't want a long survey because people won't fill out the surveys then. Uh, so generally you'll see anywhere from 10 or less questions. I like to do three to five questions. Again, you know, I'm thinking about the time. I don't want to make it uh, a lengthy thing for the client. So that's what I'll do. Uh, some of the other things that you want to do is that you want to have an open text uh, feedback section. So when you ask a question, have, just have an open text to where they can respond there. Uh, because what will happen is that you'll be able to get some really good insight from that. Um, so make sure you add that to your survey. And uh, one thing that you definitely want to do is that you want to make sure that you optimize your survey. Because a lot of your customers and clients nowadays are using their phones uh, to do these surveys. So make sure that it's optimized because if it's not, the last thing you want to do is send out a survey and then a, a customer or a client goes to, to read it on their phone and it's, uh, just, it, it's out of format and it's just, it looks horrible. You don't want that. So double check it before you actually send out your surveys. Now, and I said some of the things that you don't want to do is, uh, you know, don't have, don't make it a lengthy survey. Um, you know, you, you, you want to make it a pleasant experience for everybody. So uh, the other thing that you want to do is um, don't use industry jargon or company jargon because in your questions, because uh, the customer won't understand what the heck you're talking about. So don't use it. Uh, then you'll be fine. Now some of the times that you can send out the surveys uh, could be, let's say on a residential cleaner you've got an online booking uh, form, uh, that would be one time for you to send out a survey right after they've completed their online booking. You know, to ask them about their experience, you know, how was, it, how was your experience for booking, you know, was everything, uh, was everything satisfactory? So that's one time. Then another time is, is after you've performed the service. So after we perform that service, uh, let it be a residential house clean or a commercial cleaning, uh, we can send out our survey then. And again, our survey could be through email, it could be text, it could be a postcard, or we could do it in person. So the important thing is that you do them. Uh, you, you have to be doing these uh, because if you're not, how can you, how do you know where your customers are, if they're satisfied or not? You know, um, it's just very, very important. I just can't emphasize that enough. You know, just take the time to do it. It's, it's really not a big deal. Now, the other thing that you want to do uh, when you're at the end of your survey is always ask for a review, for a customer review. And so, again, you can just send a link to them. Uh, you could text it. You could email it. Uh, and just send them that link uh, to go to your website uh, to where they can leave a review. Now, some people... Uh, We'll be using uh, more reviews now, which is a, a, a review system that automates everything for you. So if you're using a system like that, it's fantastic. I mean, my gosh, you just send people to your website. Uh, they'll go through the steps. Everything's automated. And then before you know it, here you got this review that can be posted you know, on various sites and, uh, and on your website. So uh, think about that because if you're not using more reviews now, well, you may want to think about it. And uh, one place that you can contact is marketingsystemsbydesign.com. Uh, you can go there and you can uh, take a look at uh, more reviews now and uh, how that works. Uh, you'll thank me later. So 
anyway, so if you're uh, hopefully you're doing customer satisfaction uh, review uh, uh, surveys because uh, like I say, we absolutely have to do them. We have to know where our customer satisfaction level's at uh, so we can duplicate that, that great experience that we provide our customers. So I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. And uh, hopefully you got something from this. Uh, if you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And uh, you know, um, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the, the subscribe button and uh, you'll find that we have hundreds of uh, videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until next time, we'll see ya.